So uh, I've been home for one more day and frankly it's the weekend now so I can be home without feeling bad about work and hopefully I will be able to go out Monday. I really hope so. Um, I had a really bad day yesterday. Uh, I, I don't talk I think I said much about it but uh, if I was like this day everything goes wrong. Like I was home sick and I uh, was trying to get some sleep for real, um, was getting away from preschool and I was uh, constantly walking my baby's phone or the doorbell time after time after as well as like a 20 minutes interval for four hours and it's like you're getting mad sometimes it gets mm. and the thing is when you are really ill and have fever and so on you can easily just you know fall asleep but if you fall asleep and are woken up directly after time after time after time finally get more tired than it was from the start and it was so annoying and um yeah, then I was getting away from my preschool and on the way home she dropped her pacifier and we had to go find it and then she dropped her stuffed animal and we had to go find it and uh, then the traffic light was out of order and it was really hard to get home because the traffic doesn't slow down the whole bike sadly you need a traffic light when you're riding a bike and uh, when I get home um, well, when we uh, was almost home, I realized I needed to buy some things from the store. So I went to the store uh, just to buy this uh, two items. And when I get there, it was a really, really long line. It was like literally 100 person before me. And I was like, I'm too tired to ride a bike to another store because I'm too tired. I just can't do it. And to buy those things, I have to buy in the store because of Bruce RG, we have to buy things without milk and so on and uh, the other stores don't have those products so I like to stay in that store and stay in this line with this fever and Joe was pretty tired she was so good she was behaving very well but still a hundred people before and apparently this was reopening of the store I had no idea because it had been closed just been rebuilt but it was some like a fake reopening <laughs> or something and um, everybody who was buying something was getting um, a good bag. We said, okay, that's nice, whatever. But, and when I was about to pay, I put my uh, those things in front of the cashier and she, um, Andrew, who had been behaving really well, she just ran up. And I was like, okay, I can't run after her because I need to pay this first. So, like, I saw her and I know she won't run away really bad but she's in the stage just that you know to hide just because she thinks it's funny so and when you run after she you know pop out her head and laughing and so on but still she's just two and a half i need to keep her an eye on her so yeah it was a really, really stressful situation and then this cashier take this box whole paper box with uh, with uh, well, not paper box but what do you call it? the stick of paper that one yeah this box, uh, anyway, uh, with chickens, frozen chickens, like six, seven of them, and with, and she's registered one, and there's all those people waiting in line, and I'm waiting to pay, and I'm telling her, like, okay, my child, right, just run out, can't you, you know, and she's like, no, I have to do this now, and I'm like, no, you don't have to do this now, you can put this in the freezer or something, and you can do it later, because you don't do things like that when you're at 100 people waiting to pay. It's like, it's it, it, it's an absurd <laughs> situation and um, I mean she could have told me, okay, I'm sorry I have to do this right now but go find your daughter and I will, I will do things for you or whatever. But she was just rude. And so I just gave her money and run up and I took a row and then this guy who was handing out his goodie bags like was it just people who were buying things like, yeah, but I've been... Hmm. <laughs> I was in a mood to discuss with him. And then I realized I forgot the things inside the store because I was so worried about Rowan really running after her. And she was so tired. She came just right, right when I told her to. So I had to go back into the store and get my things. And I was like, I have no one to do this. It was like awful day. And when I got home and I asked... Uh, my next door was to walk a dog and apparently we misunderstood each other so 
uh, the dog hasn't been out and they said they're gonna go out with dog then but I was like in stress mode and felt like okay, I can do it anyway so I was going out with dog and the fever is just pouring and the sweat is just pouring and I feel like the fever is just crazy and um, I thought I was going to take out the trash still so I took this bag with recycled food and was carrying it down all the stairs and when I got to the front of the house the bag, it's a paper bag, it's broke and all this half rotten food was all over the floor uh, and all the stairs and I I was like, mm, it's not this, it's not my day. So I have to go and clean that up and it was just smelling so bad I have to get um, some of that clothes and washed up all the stairs and stuff like that and standing on my knees, hands and knees and doing this and just like, yuck. And um, then I realized it was my time to do the laundry in the laundry room in the basement. I was like, not too okay, but I did. So yeah, this day was a little stressful day. <laughs> Bad day then, I guess. But I can laugh about it later on, but not right then. Not right now, or a little bit now, but not much. So yeah, so that's pretty much what's been going on. Um, so um, I guess that's all for today. And I hope you all have a nice Friday. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.